Now we're gonna change the pressure switch today. Before you do that, power off. So there's gonna be water in it, sometimes there's not, but uh, this time uh, this customer has a flow issue. Uh, we already adjusted the pressure switch, which is this here. We had tried to adjust it and then the heat came back on, clicked on, you can hear the relay click back in. Um, so what we did was uh, we just turned the power off, we shut the valves off here and down there. So you just gotta watch in line there so you can disconnect it or not. Uh, some tubs have that, some don't. Uh, some packs are, have a pressure switch, some don't, but this is if you have a pressure switch. Now this one is sitting um, up and down. Some sit the other way, some of them the heat tube is off to the side, but uh, regardless, we're gonna change out this um, pressure switch here. So you just don't wanna pull the pressure switch out after you've shut those valves off. Um, you gotta release the water. So what I've done is I've, I've opened up this part here and uh, let some of the air out and then took the pressure switch out. Now, you might not have that, but uh, you wanna release that water. So try to do it away from the electrical. So over the, to the pump, you can disconnect it there and let the water go out that way. So when you take this out, it's not spraying out all over the place. So now we've already taken out the, the old pressure switch, what was here. And uh, there was a whole bunch of gunk in it and stuff like that. You could clean it out and stuff like that. But uh, there's a little spring in there and it's probably rusted. And it's, this, this is a pretty old tub. So I'm just going to put a new one in and see what happens. Now, when you put in the new one, um, there's two, oh, by the way, there's two uh, leads here. You just take it off. Uh, it's connected inside the spa there. Um, some of them are, are, you know, welded in there. This one here just plugs in. So when you plug this back in, you make sure that you kind of just push, you know, you don't push hard, just push it down. You'll feel it click in again because they'll get pulled out. Um, so we'll move that out of the way. We'll put this in. So we've already put some Teflon tape. You don't need that much Teflon tape. Maybe, you know, go around twice. I use the pink stuff, so it's pretty thick. So I only went around once. So when you put this in, remember, this is plastic. This is steel. So when you put this in, um, you can, it's e very easy to cross-thread the this thing. So be very careful when you're putting it in, you'll feel it. Like it, you don't even have to put that much pressure. You'll feel it going in. And if it doesn't, if it starts getting too hard right away, take it out. Cause it's, we are probably starting to cross thread it. So I've started that and it's going in pretty easy. So you just keep on turning that. Now I just do it until, uh, I just do it until uh, I can no longer do it. Now, some people will use a tool, and, and you can put a, you know, a ratchet or a wrench in there, and then give it a little tweak, a little bit more. And now the original one was in there pretty deep, but you got to remember that there's a heater element in here. Now this will go in pretty far. I don't know how the element's sitting in there. Um, it could be off kiltered a bit. But these pressure switch go in the dead center of the element, so the element will go on either side of it. And sometimes they're kind of off kiltered a bit. There's a chance, and it only happened, you know, it's happened a few times that uh, if I put it in this too deep and it's too close to the element, that it will just melt the, the pressure switch. You know, melt it closed. It won't pop out or nothing like that. So we're just going to hand tight that in really, really well. And you could give it a little, a little tweak. So that's all we do. And then we take the two leads. We'll plug those in. I need a wrench for that. But anyway, open that up, see if there's any leaks around that. If you're good to go, then you let the water out. Either I'm going to use here. You can hear some of the water come out. Uh, once I open that up, I'll, uh, I'll take the water out a little bit more. If you don't have this, again, you just undo that a little bit, not fully, and just let some of the air out. I usually do it when, it, when I turn the power back on and when, it's, when it starts um, running, I'll open it up a bit and let some of the air out. An issue comes up, and uh, it's really cold right now. So I'm going to try to uh, do stuff more um, on site. Um, so the videos won't be that that good, I don't think, because uh, winter time's coming and I got to tarp it all and everything else when it's snow, so it may be dark, and I'll try to do the best I can. But uh, thanks. Bye.